Hello, Glam Bam. I am back. And I'm glad to be back. And tonight I want to talk to you, to you guys about a couple boxes I got. Well, one of them in a box is just a package. It'll be package order. And then I got something else. But anyway, it's kind of a... Might be a little bit... Second box might be a little bit of a joke box. But anyway, I'm going to show you the first one. See the lashes I have on... I like them. They're from the Dollar Lash Club or something like that. I thought I ordered Magnetic. And then I also have right here with me. I thought these were Magnetics. Apparently they're not. Uh, these are called, the ones I have on is called Kimmy. These are called, kind of long right there. They're called Teresa. And these are called Cassie. But I thought I better not. I was going to I was gonna put the great big ones on, but I thought dyeing my hair and everything, I thought I better... Everybody's going to be in enough shock already, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, anyway, I can't remember what I paid for. I have to go back to my bank and see. Because I thought that they had the monthly thing or something like that. And you got a monthly, but, I, but I'm going to get back with them. Because I know for sure that if it was the monthly thing that I ordered. I thought I ordered the Magnetic. I really liked the Magnetic, magnetic but they, these were easy to put on. I will say they were. I just put a little bit of glue on them, let them dry, you know, for a minute, and then, you know, take your, I put mine right in the middle first, and then I just kind of, you know, ground around with it, but, yeah, they were pretty easy to put on. I gotta get drink. I have to get drink. I got to, I got to dry pipes. Oh. Speaking of dry pipes, I have another box I want to show you guys. Now, this is what I call... Diane's it's called see it says love box love box love box because they love me so much and I know they know I love them and they love me because see they send love on it but I'm going to show you guys what I got and I don't know if you guys ever smoke these their babes. Hold for a little bit. Smoke it. Now, remember, this video is not for kids. I marked not for kids. Now, this is going to be about marijuana. So, anybody that's not interested in cannabis, you can leave now because, you know, if you don't want to hear about it, but, you know, this stuff has really, really helped me. Helped me. Um, before we get started on this box, I just want to tell you guys that a long, long time ago, for a long time, I was hooked on pain pills real bad for about, oh my God, probably nine, ten years. I was hooked on, you know, that was all. Just the, you know, just the, the uh, pain pill one. Because the doctor put me on that years ago and got me hooked on that. And um, I was also hooked on, um, I think it was lorazepam, you know, the light nerve pill. And I was on those for a long time, a long time. And, you know, and I thought, I am, you know, I just got tired of feeling like crap all the time. Because I knew I was hooked on them. I knew I was. And I got tired of feeling like crap, you know, day after day after day, you know, it's like... I was to the point that I, I didn't even want to get out of bed until I had a pill. Until I had a pain pill. I didn't even want to get out of bed. So I'd lay him right there by the counter. Right there up beside me. You know, because I'd take it and let it kick in. Then I'd get out of bed. I mean, I was hooked. I was hooked. And then, you know, because, doctor, I'm going to tell you how bad it was. All the way up till about two years ago, I, you know, I got off all that junk. And this is no joke, guys. This doctor, and don't get me wrong... I'm not blaming that doctor because I could have always said no, no, no. And I'm not going to mention no names. But this doctor had me on 180 um, hydrocodones, 7.5s each month. Each month she had me on those. Each month. And I'm going to be honest with you, there was quite, a, you know, several years that I was, yeah, I was eating 180 a month. Believe me, and I, like I said, I felt like crap all the time, you know, and just never wanted to do nothing, and just 
grouchy and moody and lost weight, you know, because I just, you know, I felt like they give me energy all the time, you know, I just felt like they give me energy, and, uh, you know, like I said, guys, I never talked about this before, this is something that I don't care to share it, you know, I don't mind sharing it at all, because I am very proud of myself, because I have been off the pain pills, off the lorazepam, all that stuff for two years. And, um, it wasn't because of my doctor that got me off of them or anything. It was myself. I got myself off that stuff. And how did I do it? Well, that's when the edibles kind of came out. And, um, they were finally legalized here in Illinois. And I never did like smoking pot that much, you know, but... You know, I thought, you know, some people said, well, you know, try, you all try those gummies. So, anyway, that's why my box is right there. <laughs> I want to show you that, so just hang on. So, I started on them, you know, and they just, I don't know. I don't only, t I would only take like one. And, uh, of course, you know, it took an hour. It takes an hour sometimes, hour and a half to kick in. And, uh... It just, I don't know, I felt a lot more relaxed, and I had energy at the same time, and, um, I don't know, I just put my head to it, and with a lot of prayers, uh, with my lot of prayers to God, I also decided, I took my own self off of all, everything by myself, but the edibles did help a lot, a lot. So, I just, what I started doing, I started taking less of each pill a day. You know, if I was, say, taking 10 a day, I'd go down to 9. And I just kept on doing it. And, you know, I was sick. Oh, yeah. I was sick. Very sick. And there, I want to give in. I want to give in. Especially working on top of it. You know, so I took, you know, I didn't, I took the edibles. I would take one. And I just, all that, just, you know, little by little, as I was getting off of them, it was getting better. And anyway, that's my story. I finally, that's how I got off that stuff. And I feel, I've been off now for two years, maybe a little over. But anyway, guys, I, I, I'm 64 years old now. You know, like I said, anybody can get hooked on this junk out there. You know, I was kind of like an innocent bystander. It's like, doctor put me on pain pills. I, don't, I think I broke my leg or done something over me. I don't even remember. And, you know, she's kept me on this stuff ever since. Well, heck, I didn't know. But I found out. But anyway, I just feel so much better. And I'm always, in, you know, feel good. Even when I'm not eating edibles. Or even if I am. I'm a lot more sociable now. Where I wasn't before. I felt like I was in a shell. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like a brand new person, you know. And I thank God every day for getting me the strength to get off all this stuff. And, um, I pray every day and thank God for it. So, anyway, guys, I want to see you. I'm going to show you where I got my box. You seen the love box? Seen the love box. Okay, I want to open it now. Now, if I get the lid off. I'm getting the lid off here. Come on. Now, the, the pen I was hitting just now, what this is, is a vape pen. Now, this pen right here is disposable. And these are really cool, like, I don't know, say you go somewhere and you can't carry your weed or you can't carry your gummies or, you know what I mean? So, these is a, you know, a vape. They don't, real, they don't smell like marijuana when you take a puff, you know? And see how it gets right there like that? And you just hold it, you know, just like you would marijuana, you know, a joint, but these don't smell, mine don't anyway, I think you can get in different flavors, I ain't getting this box open, I'm gonna have to, I'll put you guys on hold for just a minute, <laughs> okay, we're back, now, anyway, like I said, these are the disposable pens, and what disposable is, I, you get like, I don't know how many puffs, really, I'd say several, and after this goes out, then right there, then you know that it's done. And, but you can buy them 
I've never bought those, but you can buy them. You can park the cartridges in them and battery or something like that, and then you'll have it all the time where you can buy these. And what was the price of this? Um, I'm wanting to say it was around maybe forty dollars. I mean, yeah, they're kind of expensive, but. I don't know. I like them because, like I said, that you know they last you a long time. I mean, you can just hit it here and there, and if you want just like a little bit of a buzz, you just hit it, and you know, you're mellow. Now we're going to get to get to. I'm going to show you the goodies I like. Okay, I'm going to show you the goodies that I like. You watch YouTube's probably going to ban me. That's okay. As long as one person, at least one person, can see it, that's about me. <laughs> Okay, the ones that I like, I buy right here, and they're called Good News, right there. These are kind of like a triangle flavor, and uh, let me take one out for you. I don't think I've got any open anyway. I'm going to take one out if you can get the box open. You guys really think I'm going to get this open? <laughs> Hold on. I, hey, I think I did. I think I did. Lily, what do you want? What do you want? You know, she's looking at me like, who are you? I, I don't think she's not used to my hair. I know she ain't. She just looks at me like, who are you? <laughs> anyway, here they are, guys. Here's these here. Now, we live in Illinois. So, because we live in Illinois, you have to pay the state tax. So, what this is going to run you is $30. There's 10 of these right here in them. This is what they look like. Can you guys see that? I'll probably put it as close as I can. And they're, they're like a gummy. You know, it takes maybe, I don't know, not very long, and they'll melt in your mouth and stuff. But anyway, you get 10 of these. And like I said, they're $30, but you got to add another $10 for the state tax. So you can count every time you buy one of these, it's going to cost you 40 bucks. But like I said, you get 10 of them. And one of these, this is totally 100% sativa, which if any guys, any of you guys know a little bit about marijuana, stuff like that, you know how good of brands there are out there. And sativa is one of mine. I love sativa because sativa, it relaxes me, but it really gets me into what I'm doing at the time, and it gives me energy, and guys put in the comments whatever you know what else you think that these do I mean I'm sure there's more things you know but that's just the top three or four out of my head that that I like about them and I wish I had I should have grabbed some I went there today I should have grabbed me some papers on it dang it I should have grabbed them because they've got everything they've got your flour they've got your edibles they've got your um, your wax for I know what they got on. I know what it is. See. Wax, flour. There's, I think there's five categories. I think there's five, and I'm missing one, and I can't think what it's called. Anyway, anyway, they were pretty busy today too. They are really, really, really a thriving bursting place. And what I like about them, when I go over there, there's all ages. You know, you get them all the way from. The age they live, I think it's 21, all the way to, oh my God, I've seen, I've seen people, a lot of older people, and, you know, of all ages, middle-aged people, yeah, you know, a lot of uh, disabled, a lot of disabled people I've seen and stuff. You'd be surprised. You would be surprised. I think so. I think they're awesome. The other ones I like is another Sativa product. It's just like the red ones, except these are the Vegas these are all, you know, these are made by Good News. But this one here, the flavor is Vegas. I don't think it's, yeah, it's just called Vegas. And it's the same price as, as you know, as these. But I think this has like a grapefruit type flavor to it. And then this has, I don't know, it's supposed to be strawberry or something, but it tastes like cherry to me. And the thing about over there, you can get like 500 total milligram of your edibles you know which would be five packages and but what they do you can get you can just get you can go your limit on a, a you know we'll say went in there and you brought your limit on all of it well you're gonna have so long you're gonna have for a long time 
long time. But anyway, this is my goodie box. And it's my beautiful love box. And I want to show you is that uh, this is what I got in my love box today. If you guys want to see, if you guys want to see more uh, stuff like this, especially if YouTube kind of catch it, I'll just keep on doing it. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, believe me, I'm all for it. Let me know. I'll see you in my next one.